Italy's Coast Guard has released this video showing rescue efforts after a boat carrying migrants sank off the coast of Lampedusa on Thursday. Survivors say there were at least 500 people on board when the boat sank. They say after the vessel started taking on water, someone lit a fire to get the attention of passing ships. But the flames quickly spread and passengers surged to one side, causing the boat to capsize. Men, women and children who could not swim were thrown into the water. A fisherman described what he saw. At dawn it seemed I could hear screams, but I didn't really think anything of it. We thought it was seagulls, but my friend said we need to go out to sea, so we started sailing out and the scene was dramatic. All these people with their arms raised crying for help, it was just terrible. At that point we immediately called the port and we quickly started picking up these people on the boat. We picked up 47 of them. A spokesperson for the Coast Guard told Al Jazeera that divers have seen many bodies trapped in the vessel and scattered around it on the seabed around 50 metres below. But poor weather conditions meant bringing those bodies up to the surface was delayed on Friday morning. Today the operation is focusing on searching inside the ship where bodies are trapped. We don't know the actual number of bodies yet. We have an idea based on an account from one of the migrants who was on the boat. The United Nations says nearly 8,500 migrants, mainly from Africa and the Middle East, took boats to Italy and Malta in the first six months of this year. That's almost double the number who arrived during the same period last year. And that figure has sharply increased in recent weeks as people continue to flee from the war in Syria. Lampedusa's mayor says the authorities are struggling to cope and has called on European countries for help. We expect that after so many instances, something will change. We hope for something to change after Pope Francis came here. It cannot continue like before, otherwise there will be other bodies again in the future. The Italian government has called for a day of mourning. Many more bodies are expected to be recovered from the wreck. Men, women and children who were fleeing from poverty and violence. Italy's president called the tragedy the latest in a succession of slaughters of the innocent to occur off the country's coast. Charles Stratford, Al Jazeera.